Okay, so this is the last one, the last episode, my sixth day in Seattle. Let's make it a good one. Once again, I'm out here doing my morning thing where I'm reading my book with my coffee. You saw the making process. What book am I reading today? Doesn't matter. This is the last morning in the lobby here at Citizen M Hotel. I'm going to miss it. Uh, uh, well, I'm back already. It's October. Uh, I miss it. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Okay. Today we're going to... Oh, sorry. We're at the buffet. Give me one last look at the buffet. You know, still $20, still did not try it at all. Buffet? Continental Breakfast? I don't know what you call this. Um, but they had it. <laughs> Cereal bagels, you know, some hot food. All right, but today we're going to visit Fremont. Fremont is um, perhaps my favorite area in Seattle. Right now we're still in, um, there's some alleys, so we're still in... <laughs> Pioneer Square, we're still downtown, just outside of the uh, hotel. Um, this morning, I had breakfast at, I think it's called Porpoise Donuts. I was shocked that they had Olipop, my favorite soda, the only soda I drink now. It's a nice little pricey little donut shop downtown. Get some good stuff. And I'm on the bus headed to Fremont. Fremont is right next to Ballard. Um, it's, I don't know, when I was doing research for Seattle videos, I heard the word Fremont, and for some reason it just stuck out as like a place I wanted to visit. Uh, it's kind of quirky. They call it Bohemian. It's kind of like the weird place. It has this moniker of the center of the universe, which I, I uh, found out later, and it made me, my ears kind of perked up hearing that. It's got a lot of weird artistic, look at this. Look what's in the, look what's in the background here. I was a little shocked to see that. And they have a statue of Lenin kind of in the main area, 36th and Fremont Ave. Statue of Lenin here. There's a, a history about how that statue got there. Right next to it, a psychic uh, in this place, Dumpling Sar. And there's a, a plant shop across the street. Architecture on these apartments. PCC Community Market is like... Basically, it, we have something here in um, Pennsylvania called Wegmans. I don't know how far that gets, but this is basically like a Wegmans. It's like a small Wegmans, little corner market where you can get things at a, a little bit of a higher price for the convenience. I like it though. I was in here um, any chance I got if I was hungry. I was in the PCC market. It's small, it's okay, cool little pricey everyone i talk to about it says it's pricey so all the seattle residents that i spoke to about this place they they don't come here just because and i mean i get it but you're all rich why aren't you just so convenient this is what i got and uh some dude was staring at me so i had to go down to the the where the water is and there's a google uh office down there an adobe office I like this area. It's probably my favorite area in Fremont. Maybe my favorite area in Seattle. I spend a lot of time, a lot of time out here. Um, 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 yeah, I'm cutting out the ums. Maybe I won't cut out these ums. But a lot of the workers use this trail to bike, run, rollerblade. You got this nice little uh, the Fremont Cut, I think it's called. There's a bridge that uh, opens up for boats. Nice spot. Enjoyed feeding ducks out here every now and then when I was out there. 
It's one of those taller uh, boats. I don't think we'll get to see it open the bridge, but uh, it's it's very calm, very relaxing out here. Le Ami, I think that was. And right here is the rocket, which is in the center of Fremont area. It's just a rocket. There's Saturn. Just some architecture. A lot of murals around here. And of course, I was walking and a ladybug kind of surprised me and jumped on me. I tried to shake it off, but it wouldn't go away. And then I realized it was a ladybug, so I let it crawl around on me. It's, a, it's one of the nicer bugs. Some nice murals. Martin Luther King, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, some other m murals, some roses, some murals. It's a nice uh, area. Fremont Cafe, a place that I've definitely wanted to visit. Um, I'll say that the coffee there gives me a little bit of anxiety. Maybe it's a stronger coffee, but this is my favorite coffee shop I've ever visited, perhaps, just because of the seating. It's just so much seating. Indoor, outdoor, for some reason, I just fell in love with this um, just big coffee shop. It rivals Three Birds in Easton, which is another one of my favorite, which is basically a mansion converted into a coffee shop. This is basically like, I don't know, a house, but it's very big, a lot of rooms, a lot of area in here. And I like cozy or quaint, just like a lot. Uh, for some reason, I like this place. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't tell you why. And here's the Wi-Fi password if you're ever there. Kill your computer. Yeah, so I spent some time in here, I'll say. Uh, sitting outside. I overheard a girl from Mission talking about how she was down there for her sister's wedding. So I was eavesdropping a little bit. Um, some more murals back at the plant shop on the main strip here. Fremont, um, kind of like Ballard. I'll say, I didn't mention this in my Ballard video, but people were kind of rude. Not rude, just standoffish. Just like, they seemed a little bit wealthy and like they didn't want to be bothered. Fremont, everyone was cool to me. Except these people, I'm trying to, trying to get my picture with the troll. You know what I'm saying? Everyone in Fremont, it was kind of cool. Everywhere was cool to me, except Ballard. I had just a little bit of a weird feeling. Next, I was off to Millstead, another one of my favorite cafes. Uh, I didn't film in here, but I struck up a conversation with one of the gals that worked there. Look at this. I found a little library. Coffee. This place had coffee inside of the little book. I couldn't believe that. That's amazing. Um, but some of the books I wanted to donate in different places. I maybe came down with like five books and ended up reading two and a half of them. So I uh, stashed Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse 5 in here. Hopefully someone picked that up and enjoyed it. Give it a little love tap and we were out of there. There's some, some nice sculpture in this place. There's some of the houses, some of the architecture out west. You don't see this in the east coast, anything. These might be west coast style homes. I think they have these in California maybe, Arizona, I don't know. Fremont Brewery is here. I'm not as much of a beer drinker, but it's a nice open air spot. Some more sculpture. And then we went into this cafe. I don't remember the name of it. Not one of my favorite cafes. But it's kind of over there near Fremont. You know, they're all good. Everything's probably really good. Every cafe's quality. But I don't know. Fremont Cafe. Fremont Coffee Shop. For some reason, I fell in love with that place. And then we're here at Portage Bay something. This is a nice little gift shop. The woman that works here or was working here this day was very friendly. And uh, it's got a lot of uh, quirky, artistic jewelry, gift cards, books, stickers. You know, it's kind of like a, let me bring something back. Uh, some souvenirs kind of place. I like it. Portage Bay something picked up a couple things from here a couple pins nice seattle shirt if they had any of these shirts in like polyester fremont troll and uh once again the seahawk shirt that I, I love but i just can't i can't wear like cotton anymore i don't know <laughs> i'm picky right now they were back down at the uh fremont cut nice quiet and this place is usually busy i don't know why what day was this this was monday afternoon Everyone's at work. Makes sense, huh? 
this will need its own video. The Vintage Mart down there. It's a huge, like, little flea, not flea market. Back at Lumen Field, though. Um, I'll talk more about that Vintage Mart another day. But, yeah, this is, I went to the, uh, I was downtown looking for, like, a shirt. I wanted to get a shirt to take back with me. Something polyester that said Seattle. Couldn't find it. I found some guys up to no good here downtown. What are these guys up to? Um, did I ever get a Seattle shirt? I did at the Goodwill. We'll talk about that later. Uh, just some random pictures, some random videos for you to enjoy. This is my last day in Seattle for my my first trip. Um, and I was kind of just enjoying some of the sights. I, Fremont, I didn't spend a ton of time in Fremont, but I loved it. And then I was back downtown on the pier, just enjoying the view a little more. Ferris wheel didn't do any tour boat tours or the Ferris wheel oh of course I stopped back at uh Cafe Umbria one last time left some feathers there and I uh, left my book um in the uh little book section there and uh, just random pictures I had this remind me of Philly <laughs> I've never seen I don't know why oh yeah I went back to uh Capitol Hill uh I was on a mission that I won't discuss um Let's just enjoy this trip up this escalator. My last meal, pizza and um, Luna Cafe for another one of those refresher drinks. I forget what's in that bag and I, I end up not showing you, but it's probably um, a Danish or something like a muffin. A couple slices. They were mid, as the kids say. Pricey, I think. I don't remember. I'm back outside again, back at the pier for sunset. Yeah, so I got some video and some pictures of the sun setting. And there were a few people in this pier kind of just relaxing, enjoying the view, taking some photos. I'm starting to agree. Seattle is 60% uh, transplants or tourists or out-of-towners. Um, just, I don't know, it's fine. It's cool. Space Needle you can see from downtown. Big old wheel. There's me filming people. Uh, uh, would I go back? Well, you already know the answer is yes. I, I've been back already. Uh, will I go back again? More than likely. I actually have... I was going to get a plane ticket to leave today. And uh, scheduling... I didn't need to be out there today, basically. So I waited too late to cancel. So now I have credit. I have $400 worth of united uh credits that i have to use uh by next year so i'll probably be in seattle again before the next before next october what do you think what did you think of this series um what do you think of seattle place you want to visit or did i pretty much cover a lot of what would be interesting the weird part is what i like is the not the nightlife. I'm sure it has a good nightlife. You didn't see that from me. You saw kind of stuff I was interested in. You saw um, quirky things. So your experience would be different in Seattle. And I welcome you to take the trip. See what you can discover. But, I mean, if you watch enough videos on YouTube, you'll fro probably get what you're looking at. Or what you're looking for, excuse me, from a trip to Seattle. I don't know if you necessarily need to go unless for me it was just something I had to do I couldn't not go it was uh, out of my control so this is my room citizen uh, hotel room number 1037 I do a, a tour here because I wanted to do a tour in the beginning and I forgot so I kind of cleaned up a little bit and said all right let me do a video Taking people around the room here. We've got a full-length mirror at the door. Opposite side, well, there's an escape plan, of course. Opposite side, that is a closet. Mm, we've got, oh, I'm turning on the lights here. There we go. Okay, let's go back. We've got the closet area. <clears throat> yep, full-length mirror, door, a little shelf. And as soon as you walk in, there is a, on the right, a sink. On the left, a... Uh, 
what do you call it? A place to uh, relieve yourself. Nice little frosted, glassy area. Very small. I think this is good for one person. For two people, probably still okay. I'm not sure. I don't travel with another person. I wouldn't know. And you've got the uh, shower, the the AM and PM body all-in-ones, <laughs> whatever those are. The shower was cool. It took a minute to figure out. Um, it's okay. Nice pressure. The toilet has two buttons, a uh, low volume and a high volume flush. Okay, you close that. you got another mirror here with the sink and your towels and uh, hair dryer, trash, shelves, tissues, uh, little cups for brushing your teeth and whatnot. Uh, mirrors, lamp, a banana that I uh, purchased, and down here the little fridge area. Got a little seat there to put your shoes on and off. <laughs> You've got another seat here at the desk area. Uh, more light controls and uh, curtain controls, a night light, a phone, and the iPad. The iPad kind of controlled every. Okay. It kind of controlled everything in the room, um, the lights, the blinds, the TV, the uh, temperature. I'm showing the activation of the, there were two um, blinds. One is more, one was completely dark in the room and one had a, a little bit of a, a transparency to it. You have a light uh, intensity and also, I'm about to show you here, a light color change which uh, I played with a little bit I mean once you pick the color you like there's no re no real need to change it but I don't know it's cool to have that little feature here you have the uh, frosted shower area you can pull this I think that um shade covered half the whole half of the room so it would go across the whole room if you needed extra privacy you schedule your cleaning. I think every third day they would come in and clean regardless. Uh, and you've got, you know, room service, some little tour information, a lot of nice things there. you got your outlets. Down here you have a safe. I didn't take advantage of that. But it's there and also a bigger uh, storage area for whatever, clothing. There's a remote. Very cool. So here's the view from 1037. Nice view of not a great area. And there was this pillow thing in here that, you know, I just put in the corner. Kind of, you know, in case it had a, its own spirit. They had books in the room from the School of Life, the uh, popular YouTube channel. And I said, I wonder if they'd miss one of these books. But they're selling them for 15 bucks if you wanted the books. Uh, nice decorations, the vents up there and whatnot. Smoke detector, some lights, TV, you know, very nice. Nice, nice, nice. That lamp. I swear that lamp was not there when I got there. Uh, that freaked me out seeing that lamp. And I was like, was this here the whole time? And here's the uh, peephole. Check it out. It's like a horror movie now. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you. That's the room. There's a little quote that I like. And then we're taking, this is the next morning, I'm taking the elevator down, ending my trip to Seattle. It's very early in the morning. Um, what else can I say? I'm all packed, ready to catch that flight. Stepping out into the lobby one last time. Oh, I'm going to miss this place. Every morning, just getting down there and reading and drinking. Okay, here we go. Checkout time. Put your key card on there. And that's it, you checked out. <laughs> okay, you get the hell out of there, right? And then we're, we're done. Waiting for the uh, light rail to take us back to the airport. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you learned a little something about me, something about Seattle. I hope you plan on making the trip yourself. If you need any advice, you know, you know where to reach me. Bye.